Oh, hey, it's good to see you again, my friend. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. So, how was your big adventure? Did you see anything interesting? Now that's some story to tell. Well, you're so brave that you even made it that far. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think you get what I'm trying to say, yeah? Good. Would you like to pet me again? I, I am, but today I'm feeling a bit more confident. If you don't want to, then that's okay. <laughs> you know, it may sound silly, but me just asking you to pet me, it just makes me feel like I'm a dog. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Say, uh, did you encounter anything on your journey? I mean, like, wild animal, wild animals or... or something dangerous? You were bitten by a snake? Gee, that must have hurt so much. Oh, that looks rough. Well, it's a good thing that the venom was weak. Well, at least you didn't die. Well, unlike my mother. I don't know if you know, but she was killed by a hunter. I just don't want to mention it. It just gives me that... What's that thing you call it? That PTSD. I think that's how you call it, right? Yeah, that's how you call it. You don't have to apologize. It's alright. She was a very great mother. I do miss her, but, you know... At least I have my dad still. That's something, I guess. You lost your dad when you were young? How did this all start? I'm sorry for your loss. Sorry to hear that. Wow, he sounds like he was an awesome guy. But well, on the bright side, at least we are both alive, and now we all have someone who looks out for us. So let's be thankful about that. That's good. So, will you be heading home soon? Oh, you are heading home. Okay, well, it was nice seeing you again, even if it was for a short period of time. <laughs> oh, you're setting up camp. Well, the sun is setting anyway, so I think it's a good time to set up camp and get some shut time before continuing on your journey. Tell you what, if my dad's alright with it, you can set up camp next to my home. Of course I'm sure he'll accept it at... Oh yeah, you are a human and you might think that you're a hunter. Well, I can assure you that he will let you sleep next to us. I'll explain to him that you're just an explorer who wants to set up camp somewhere and he'll gladly let you set up fire or a tent next to our home. Okay? Alright, let's go. Alright, we're here. You stay here, and I'll go tell my dad about everything, okay? Alright. Good news! 
He said yes, so you can camp here for tonight. Brilliant. It'll be very, it'll be very nice to have a human, a very nice human to actually be, you know, sleeping like, like here in my home. It's not something I get every day. Hello, how you doing? Good? That's great. Hmm. You were just eating a little snack. What was it you were eating? Chocolate? That sounds tasty. Whoa. I know I can't eat chocolate, of course, but it looks and sounds delicious. Interesting. Is it time for you to go to sleep now? It's getting quite late. No, 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 you, you, do, you don't have to put down your fire. Yet yeah, it'll keep you warm. And besides, the fire is very comfortable, like, I love it. You've got to teach me how to make a fire. You I mean, like, I am, like, I know, like, but still, like, I really want to make a fire someday. Oh, yeah. How can I forget? I don't have fingers like you do. Ugh, silly me. Should have just known that at the beginning before even asking that. Well, hope you have a good night's rest. Bye. See you in the morning.